another very epic radiograph of the uh, deciduous teeth. And of course, deciduous teeth are affected by caries just like the uh, permanent teeth. And in this radiograph, you will see the on the uh, second <coughs> molar, deciduous molar, you will see that uh, there is a uh, mesial proximal caries, which, as we said earlier, it will assume the same, exactly the same. Uh, appearance in the uh, permanent teeth and all of these will follow the uh, uh, enamel prisms and they will assume the typical triangular form in which the apex of this triangle is directed up toward the dentino enamel junction and the base is outwards. Undermining of the dentino enamel junction is seen and another cavity which assumes the characteristic U-shaped uh, appearance of the uh, of uh, of uh, uh, of uh, dentin caries, the opening of the U shape is towards the dentino enamel junction and the base is towards the pulp, which indicates that uh, there is a uh, dentin caries as well as the uh, um, uh, enamel caries. The distal side of the same tooth, that is the first, uh, the second uh, deciduous molar, you will see a large radiolucency in this area, uh, which assumes the exactly typical appearance of the dentin caries. This is a perfectly uh, perfect example of dent uh, occlusal caries. Of course, the occlusal caries has well gone beyond the uh, dentino enamel junction and it has uh, um, uh, affected large portion of the pulp on the distal side, uh, of the dentin, sorry, on the distal side of the tooth. And again, it will resume or assume the characteristic U-shaped appearance where the opening of the U always is toward the dentin or normal junction, whether it was in a de in dentin or in, uh, uh, sorry, in the dentin of the, uh, uh, at the occlusal surface or in the dentin of the uh, proximal surface. Don't uh, assume that the pulp is exposed in this lesion. I always say that this is a 2D radiograph. Uh, the final confirmation of the uh, root carry, uh, dent uh, the pulp exposure should be done by after careful clinical examination. On the same radiograph, on the first deciduous molar, you will see that there was an attempt to restore the tooth on the mesial surface, and uh, the tooth has been affected by caries. Caries has affected the occlusal surface, the typical U-shaped uh, appearance in this area of the dentine, one, two, there is also uh, gingival seed caries, that is recurrent caries, which is located just exactly underneath the uh, filling. 